All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this SH Figuarts figure, and it is Vega from Street Fighter. And uh, there's the box, so let's get into it. All right, and here's Vega outside of packaging, and uh, you can see it comes with quite a bit of stuff. We have the backdrop right there, two pieces, and then we have the fence where he could climb on, and uh, these two pieces are interconnected. Uh, you could interconnect them. Then there's the figure, and uh, as far as accessories, we have a unmasked head, uh, face, well head, yes. Then we have this uh, strip of uh, fabric supposed to go in onto his belt there, and then we have a couple of climbing hands, a fist, and then another pair of hands. Right, so let's check out articulation. Um, it's pretty much your standard SHF articulation. Head has that ball hinge joint, base of the neck, there's another joint. And then uh, the ponytail, there's a hinge joint up here. So it could, oh, uh, so the hair could move up and down. And uh, there's another, there's a ball hinge joint here. And uh, nothing around the base. And then the uh, shoulders are, uh, oh, look at that. So there's a joint right there too, the shoulder section, the butterfly joint. Well, uh, instead of going outward, it goes upward. That's different, I guess. Uh, so this arm could go quite high up, actually. Look at that. Go all the way up there, and I guess the side could do the same. But that looks ridiculous, uh, how this whole section sticking out but you could do that and a uh, ball jointed shoulder there's a hinge around the uh no actually there's uh no join around the bicep section because uh i think they use the the shoulder section for a little bit of a swivel movement and that's it and then the uh, elbows double joint so could go up like that ball hinge wrist then uh, ball jointed chest, ball jointed waist, and then the legs. I really like these newer joints. Instead of ball joints, they are like hinge. So I like that. And uh, thighs, there's a. It's actually a ball joint there. I believe the thighs is actually a ball joint. And then the hinge joint right here. But it allows him to fold his leg about that much. Which is nice and then ball hinge ankles and then the toes articulation so let's see what kind of pose we could get for vega here so i could get one of these yeah flying getting ready to stab you type of pose right there pretty cool very impressive looking vega action figure and uh, I am uh, I can't wait for uh, Sagat to come out because uh, that's another boss that I'll need because uh, they um, they already produce um, what's his name uh, bison and uh, wait how does this look okay so to switch out the head I need to take the face and the hair off okay let's do that then let's see if I can do it on camera I don't think I can. All right, here I got him holding on to the fence. Uh, I did it vertically, so the fence is like super tall right now because he is a tall figure, uh, taller than uh, your average uh, Street Fighter characters. So I just made the fence uh, vertically, so it just shows a little bit better of how the fence work with the figure on it. And as for the mask, it is removable, and I don't think they mentioned this uh, in the in the instruction, but uh, it is removable. And there's the mask right there. It's just held on by uh, two pegs on the back there, and uh, they attach it to his face right there. And so I guess if you want, uh, you can always switch this face out, and then uh, pop this hand on. And you could have him holding on to the mask. Now the mask doesn't stay on. 
his hand uh, so you might need to use some uh, those uh, poster removable sticky thingy um, those uh, uh, I think it's called putty tag putty tag or something uh, you could use those and then uh, just stick them onto his hand with the mask so it looks like he is uh, removing the mask showing his face and lastly as for the claws uh, you gotta be super careful because uh, they are very thin and made out of plastic and uh, uh, it is removable from the hand you can see right there I guess it's, uh, it's almost like how he had it in the game uh, if he's taking too many uh, hits from it the, the claw does uh, break off um, but uh, yeah again be super careful with this because it's just plastic uh, it's not metal or anything so yeah overall I really do enjoy this figure and um, I'm glad to have this in my collection and uh, right now I am waiting for uh, Sagat to come out and I think uh, who else uh, Balrog right I think that one needs to come out and then um, uh, some other characters I don't remember how many came out so far but the Storm Collectibles also got a few coming out but uh, I think I'll stick with the SHF right. I think I like the SHF line a little more than the Storm Collectibles version of these guys so yeah there you have it there's uh, Vega from SHF thanks for watching